So it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun, Stevie. Hopefully yes. you put in a good word with Mother Nature to give you some good weather. Oh, yeah. She and I sat down and had a meeting. Good. And I told her I was attending this event. Nice. And she said, OK, I'll give you dry weather. Yay. So you're welcome, everyone. <laughs> and it's not going to be feeling as chilly as yesterday evening as we head closer to 6 o'clock when the tree lighting ceremony begins. Temperatures will be around the mid 40s and then looking to stay in the 40s through the 8 o'clock hour. Wind chill values won't even drop as low as they did overnight as well. We're going to stay dry overnight into early tomorrow morning before that rain starts to drift in right around the mid morning hours. So satellite radar right now is showing dry conditions, not just across the mid Atlantic, but up towards the northeast. The Carolinas are dry right now with a few sprinkles, possibly even a wintry mix uh, just to the east of Nashville, uh, just to the north of Atlanta right now. Temperatures this morning are starting off chilly, so this is the big story this morning. Right now, a lot of us are below freezing. Actually, all of us on our temperature map are below freezing. Annapolis, one degree below freezing, 26 at the Inner Harbor, and closer to Parkton, sitting at 25. It's currently feeling like the teens, 17 degrees in Columbia, along with Chestertown, and feeling like 19 up in Bel Air. So dress warm this morning. As we head into the afternoon, if you're planning on raking those leaves in your backyard, temperatures are expected to rise near average upper 40s and the lower 50s and our winds aren't going to be as breezy. So we have more sunshine to talk about today. It's going to feel a little bit more pleasant than yesterday. Futurecast keeps us dry throughout the afternoon. We're going to be dealing with a light southerly wind flow. That's going to help our highs climb into the lower 50s today. Winds will eventually start to shift out of the northwest as we head into tomorrow. Our clouds will start to move back in across the area overnight into Saturday, and then that rain will start to move in right around the 6 o'clock hour, even around 7 o'clock. So it's looking a little bit more area wide as that cold front drifts through. Behind the cold front during the afternoon, a few scattered showers could linger before we deal with that drier weather into the overnight and also into your Sunday. So here's a quick peek at your weekend outlook. 61 degrees for tomorrow. The reason why our temperatures will be a lot milder tomorrow is because of the winds out of the southwest gusting up to 35 miles per hour. So not only will we be dealing with the rain, but also the windy conditions and the milder temperatures. Sunday looking at temperatures dropping throughout the day. We're expected to actually hit our high in the morning right around the mid 40s. And then we're looking a little bit drier, less breezy with a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Your seven day forecast shows that our temperatures overnight into Monday morning drop below freezing 49 degrees for a high on Monday with a little bit more sunshine to talk about so you can break out those sunglasses to kick off the work week heading into the middle of the work week though we have off and on rain chances not just for Tuesday but lingering showers will be the case for Wednesday and also for Thursday with highs pretty much in the mid 50s for Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon Megan all right Stevie thank you very much